Okay. Howdy folks, River Dog here and welcome to River Dog, Tater, Red Dog and Trixie Adventures. And uh, today we want to show you how we took a lawnmower motor and coupled it to a outboard lower unit. And I mainly, mainly want to concentrate on the coupling today. And uh, that was the hardest part of me was finding the right kind of coupling. And uh, so I'll show you that, and I hope it'll help you out So, So stay tuned, and we'll get on with it here. All right, there she is, cruising at five miles an hour, burning a gallon of gas an hour. So that's five miles to a gallon. These are called flexible three-piece jaw type couplers and uh, you can buy them individually that way you can get the size you need for each shaft and uh, you, they come in sizes from about three-eighths inch shaft up to about an inch and an eighth and they, they have a keyway in them and set screws so they won't slip on your shaft and uh, I got mine at Tractor Supply, or you can get them on eBay for or, um, eBay or anywhere online for I don't know in the neighborhood of twenty dollars, some places less if you want to order them. And just type in "cheap jaw coupler," and it'll bring you up a whole bunch of different kinds of them. And uh, the one that you put on your your boat motor shaft won't have a keyway in it so you'll probably have to cut it off a little bit and take your little hand grinder and grind your keyway in it it's about a quarter inch wide it ain't no trouble to do i did did it with mine and it works perfect but anyway that's uh, what it is it's a flexible three-piece jaw type coupler Well, I hope this helped you out some, and uh, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd uh, like and subscribe, and give me a little encouragement anyhow. All right, we'll see you out on the river. River Dog, Tater, Trixie, and Red Dog. See you later.